Welcome to the Agile community and our technical tips and tricks videos. My name is Sebastian Pariser, Director of Community and Senior Engineer. Today I will guide you through the process of how to log local session login and logout processes in UMS. Let's imagine that you want to know which user is working on which devices, just because you need it for banking accounts or for mapping specific devices to a user, etc. We have a process called user login history, which was misleading because some people thought it was only meant for Windows devices, but not at all. It's meant for the main session that we have in Azure OS, so Citrix, VMware View Horizon, AVD, and RDP. Just in case, um, I forgot to mention it in the main tutorial, it's also covering the uh, automatic cameras. So if you're logging into the Active Directory by using Azure OS, it would be logged there too. So basically, um, we can think then of the usage for help desk because if someone is calling your uh, support and asking, hey, can you please give me some remote assistance? He will have to search for his device name or unit ID or whatever. And if he has his name, which is pretty obvious he should have, um, he can just give it and uh, the help desk user can search for it inside of the uh, UMS console. Then monitoring, I'm not saying that you have to survey your users, not at all, but let's imagine that you have uh, some automated tasks happening on devices where no one is really working on it, but you have an Active Directory or Citrix logon happening. Then you can monitor uh, when your user went logged off because of some failures, etc. Like in every tutorial, we are looking at the Universal Management Suite, also known as UMS. Basically, if you log in into a Citrix, RDP, or VMware View Horizon session, no login information are passed back into the UMS. That, that might be wanted, especially if you want to know which device is used by which user. So for that purpose, we have created a specific section inside of the endpoint details called user login history. Like you see here, the section is pretty clear, so without any kind of information inside of it. The reason is that we, by default, never gather that information because of data privacy, security reasons, etc. So if you want to use that feature, just be aware that you might have to speak to your security department or CISO or whatever, just to be sure that it complies with your company rules. And that's the reason why, before going into a profile and the demo itself, I would just want to show you one setting that you have to double check that have to be enabled. And if this one is disabled, just be sure that someone maybe deactivated it on purpose. So please ask before reactivating it. And last but not least in that section, I would recommend to use the Art Last Device Users to Quick Search. That's the easiest way to search for the user inside of the search function without having to go through every device to find out where your user is logged in. That's the base you need to use that feature. So I could show you now that even if I would log in, I would not get any kind of features back into that window. We have to activate that feature in a separate profile. So like usually, I will create a new profile called System Remote Logging and go to System Remote Management and Options. There, please check the log, login and log off events. That's the feature that you have to enable on your endpoint to get the information back to your UMS. Let's apply now the profile to an endpoint. Let me switch to the concerned device, confirm that the settings have to be used. And now I'm opening my NetScaler session that is configured by an auto login. So I'm not even seeing which kind of user I'm using. Okay, and just let me open the map. Here we go. Okay, 
perfect. So now let's log off. Yes. Now let's come back to the UMS and still we don't see anything. In that case, I will just try to refresh my screen and we should see the username and login time up here. Here we go. So we have the username used for the Citrix connection, the login time where the login into the terminal server VDI happened, the log off time, which is pretty the same at the moment, but if I would have been a bit more delay, it would work either, and the kind of login type used. So since I used a uh, login mode, which is on Netscaler, I don't have my domain appended, but if I would have been in the company and just use the full qualified domain name, I would see it here with an ad. And that's the way how you can get the information back to the UMS. Just in case, because it isn't mentioned such clearly, in my opinion, in our documents, we will cover there every session which is related to Citrix, but with a native application. So if you're using a web browser instead, it will not be locked. That's pretty important. It will cover the self-service and the store browse feature. It will cover the LDP session. It will cover a VMware View Horizon session. They are again with the native client, not with a web browser. And on the last hand, the AVD, so Azure Virtual Desktop application from Microsoft. Thank you for joining our technical video session. All links mentioned in this session are available in the show notes section of this video. You will find more technical content and other videos on agilecommunity.com and agileacademylearn.agile.com.